At the start of the new year, Consumers Energy powered up the 72 new wind turbines in Gratiot County near the Clinton County line. It's Consumers fifth wind farm in Michigan with more energy efficient projects to come. Good evening everyone, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. A recently signed clean energy law gives state officials the ability to decide where these projects go. And many are upset with the law and some have even formed a group to stop it with a ballot initiative. News 10's Aaron Bowling tells us why some people want the law reversed. Ann and David, with Michigan's new law mandating 100% clean energy by 2040, we're going to be needing a lot more clean energy farms just like this one. The question is, where do they go? The state now has the ability to make that decision, but some Michiganders say they want to protect their undeveloped land from large-scale clean energy developments just like this one. So we wanted to have local control. That's part of what our recall was over. And we, starting as of this year, now have our own local zoning in Eagle. Still in the midst of a long-fought battle to prevent large-scale clean energy developments in the rural community, Eagle Township Supervisor Troy Stroud supports citizens for local choice. It's a new group working to put a measure on Michigan's ballot, reversing newly signed legislation that took away local control for clean energy projects. Again, I think that's the right of the people. I hope that it gets taken through. I hope it goes to a vote. So the people of Michigan can actually say this is what we want in our local communities. In places like Gratiot County, large wind farms are being developed on private property such as fields. Consumers Energy says they will be developing more of these clean energy farms to meet their goal of shutting down their coal plants in the next 18 months. So together the five wind farms allow us to power about 330,000 homes. Uh, we serve about nearly two million uh, homes and businesses every day with power. While some are working to reverse the new law, those that helped pass the bill say it's needed to get Michigan's power grid transitioned to clean energy. For consumers, they say they'll continue to work with local communities to keep the transition going. Ultimately, we at Consumers Energy want to work with the communities we serve, understand their needs, and help them see if there are benefits that we can provide from clean energy. Citizens for Local Choice says they're working on submitting their ballot initiative to officials. If approved, they'll have 180 days to collect signatures to put the law reversal on Michigan's ballot. In Gratiot County, Aaron Bowling, News 10. We did ask Consumers Energy about plans for any future wind farms in Michigan. They tell us they do not have any other wind projects that are in the works. They did say, however, we'll be seeing more solar farms in the future.